Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. Today I want to talk about water. Uh, today I've been motivated to do a little bit more on my water plan. Uh, I actually have five or I think they're five or six maybe brand new uh, containers. They're suitable for water, um, for potable water, so I'm trying to get them washed out. The reason is Mexico City announced that they will be shutting off their main supply of water. So next i think wednesday for four days and if it's anything like the united states government when they say a project's going to take a certain amount of time usually just double it so they're saying people will be without water for four days that's uh, a long time so there's four million inside the city that will be without water and three million out seven million people will not have water for four days and possibly longer so could you survive four days with no outside water just water you have stored the tap doesn't work. Uh, it's not even workable, so you could boil the water or purify. There's no water in your tap. Could you survive four days on what you have now? If you can't, you need to make a plan. You owe it to your family. If you're a caregiver to your children, uh, figure that out now. And not when the, the pipes are empty and you're like, oh, what am I going to do? So I have lots and lots, thousands and thousands of gallons of water stored. Some of it has been sitting a while, so I wouldn't consider it potable. I mean, I could purify it. I have a well, I got springs, I got all that. But you can never have enough uh, water. So I'm washing these out. I borrowed this from my buddy, and it basically goes on the end of a hose and it spins so you can get it in down into the barrels. Um, an awesome thing. But when I borrowed this, he said, hey, I got just got this. He got it used from someone. Uh, I don't think he's ever used it. Basically, you put soap in it. So I put some palm olive soap in it. Um, there's other uses for this. Let's say there's a contaminant out there and you have people coming to your retreat or you're out there and you could possibly can be contaminated with whatever it is. This would definitely be able to hose off your vehicle. You could put some bleach in here, um, some dish soap, anything to help cut whatever that thread is. Um, I think palm olive would work on a lot of things. I think some soaps would work now there's some things out there that will not work but you need to know that threat and then figure this out but definitely bleach would work to kill certain things so basically all this is is hook up your hose turn it on and as you can see it's putting out soap from this reservoir you can turn off the soap anytime you want to which is nice so i'm gonna buy one of these i'm gonna find it the only thing i have on here is called car rand I'm gonna get one because it's gonna make cleaning the cars, cleaning all kinds of things so much easier if you got the soap right there. So, I'm gonna clean these out. I don't even know who makes this. He has it, um, but I'm sure if you need this, you could look at Amazon or whatever to find this. Basically, you screw it on your hose. I have found it much, much, much more powerful if you hook it right to the hose and not through this contraption here. So let's go ahead and turn that off. And let's put this on. It's designed, um, and you could probably clean a lot of things if you have something that you can't get your hose into. You could definitely use this. You can use these on the 275 gallon totes, but I have found that the 275 gallon totes, I can pretty much put my hand in there and manipulate a hose to get all the corners. On these, they have the two holes. There's no way I can get a hose in there and get it all squirted properly. So, I'll demonstrate it right here. Basically, turn it on, and as you can see, it's spinning rapidly. So the point of this is to put it in there, and you can wash that total barrel out by just moving it up and down. It does a pretty good job. This was a very old barrel, and I've used my flashlight on it. Uh, I've already washed it one time, and it works pretty good. Now, it's not as good as if you had a direct hose, but for places you can't get, um, awesome. I'm not going to buy one because what I need to use is very seldom. So my buddy will let me borrow his. But this little contraption I'm going to get just because it's going to help me around. So a 55 gallon barrel for your family would provide a lot of drinking water. You could prob definitely go over four days with drinking water. You could probably go four days with some little bit of hygiene, washing dishes. So this doesn't take up much space. Uh, they're not that expensive. The neat thing is, I've seen apple juice 55 gallon barrels for five and six dollars. Totally safe for uh, water. The only thing is you're gonna have to clean them out. And a device like this would work. If you don't have this device, it doesn't matter. You can still clean it out. Just fill it up, 
put bleach in there, put soap in there, and you can clean that. So for five or six dollars, there's no reason why you, even if you're not a hardcore prepper, don't put a 55 gallon barrel back. Clean it out, add a little bit of bleach to it. Um, if you're using tap water, it already has a lot of chemicals in it. You'll be able to store this a long time. On this video, I'm not gonna talk about how to get the water out, but I'll just show you. There's a lot of ways to get the water out. After it's prime, it really pushes a lot of water. So, I hope I motivated you. Seven million people without water for four days in a major city. Thanks for watching.